G'day! Today I'm going to be disassembling this 3SG 16 valve head and resurfacing the valves. Step the first, removing the valve cover. Next I'm going to be removing the camshafts. Don't lose your dowels. How I like to do this is to work out which cam caps are under the least amount of strain and remove those first and then slowly and evenly undo the remaining ones so that the camshaft comes out nice and level. I can see that these two sets of lobes are on their base circle so they're not under any pressure at all. I'm going to remove those first. One thing that's important to take note of is your cam caps need to go back exactly where they were. If you can see that, if you can't I'll put a picture up, if you can see that, these all of the cam caps on this head are marked already. This one is E5 for exhaust, uh, exhaust number 5. If yours aren't marked, make sure that you mark them so that you know where they go. Make sure you know which side your camshaft came out of. It's obvious on this head because the intake camshaft actually has a notch in it for the distributor. So you know that this one's not the intake. Same procedure for the other side. Again, the end two sets of lobes weren't under any strain, so I just removed those caps first. Make sure you protect your camshafts, wrap them up in a nice rag or something. You don't want any scratches on the journals or the um, on the lobes. So this part's going to vary from head to head. This particular head has buckets with these tiny little shims underneath. You want to mark every one of them so that you know where they go. It looks like all the little shims are staying in there from surface tension so I'm going to try and avoid removing those because it's going to be super hard to ride on them. Now it's time to remove the valves, valve springs and retainers. You're going to need a tool like this. There's a bunch of different styles but they all do basically the same thing. This little ball end goes on the head of the valve and this end pushes down on the retainer so that you can remove the collets. Some sort of magnet makes removing the collet super easy. These things are really tiny. So don't drop them like I just did.
You need to keep your valves organized so you know exactly where they came from. This is how I do it. I poke 16 holes in a bit of cardboard. Mark exhaust, intake and the direction of number one cylinder. Easy peasy. If you're replacing the valve stem seals like I am, it's a good idea to remove them before you clean the head or have it cleaned so they've got a nice clean surface to uh, seat onto when you put the new ones on. They should just come out with a pair of long nose pliers. There we go, beautiful. These valves look pretty good, but that's not what I'm interested in. I want to make sure they're concentric. And to do that, I use a valve refacer. What this is, is basically it's just a, a grinding stone that can move in and out, and a chuck that you put your valve in. The chuck spins in the opposite direction to the uh, grinding stone, and it holds it perfectly on an axis so you can get the exact angle that you need. You can see down there we've got it set to 45 degrees. If you can hear that inconsistent noise, that means your valve face isn't concentric. So I'm going to grind this one down a little bit. And we'll have a look at it. Hopefully you can see that. Come on, focus. You can do it. Yeah, no, not quite. All right, there we go. You can see where the machine's been grinding. You can see that it's pretty uneven. See, that's grinding pretty much the whole face, and then we go down to about half the face. So I'm going to keep grinding this one because that's no good, that's not concentric. stick a fork in it this one's done you can see now we've got a nice smooth concentric face lovely there's all my intake valves done nice clean new concentric faces the exhaust valves are pretty much the same except they're usually a little bit more worse for wear just because of the heat that they endure that's about it for this video like and subscribe if you learned something uh, next up I'm gonna be cutting the valve seats so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that see you later I let you bury me alive for